Hello, welcome everyone. Our groundbreaking product combines AI and optimization to make optimization available to business users. You will see our applied AI in action in just a few seconds. I am not the first time founder. I founded another company before. I sold it in 2017 to a private equity. This company is now worth a unicorn. Um, what drives me the last half of my life, the last years, is op making optimization available to business users. But the product I, ha I was having before was so technical that you ha need to have math PhDs to formulate mathematical models to solve optimization problems. And I believe if we can make optimization accessible to business users, we can tackle a market which is 10 times bigger. So, what is optimization? If you're looking around, for example, you came by an aircraft, airlines need to schedule their 100 plus aircrafts all day, schedule 60,000 flight attendants and pilots onto these aircrafts. Or for production scheduling, if you're running five production lines, having hundreds of products, customer demand, supply limitations, for example, how to make the best decision for your production schedule. Or if you're having smaller companies, for example, one of our customers, the coffee brewery, they have two production facilities, 40 people running these production facilities, and they have many decisions to make, for example, how to deliver the coffee beans to their customers. And there are huge savings possible for optimization, like UPS, they save hundreds of, bill, uh, of millions every year in optimizing their fleet scheduling. Siemens is increasing productivity by more than 20% in production planning. And again, in airlines like Air France is saving several millions in better crew assignment and routing of the aircraft. So, but why, why is it difficult to solve these problems today? On the one side, if you're looking into mathematical solvers, these are the products which could solve optimization models. They are traditional players you see on the left side, like IBM, FICO, and my previous company. They are really great on the output side. So you can, def you can produce highly accurate schedules with these mathematical models. They, are, they have even proven, math uh, proven optimality. But they are really inflexible on the input side. As I said, you need math PhD, operations PhD, operations research PhDs to be able to formulate these problems. But on the other hand, nowadays, you could think like, oh, why don't we ch uh, use ChatGPT to enter these kind of problems and just solve them? But uh, have you ever tried to solve a Sudoku on ChatGPT? It's not working with even a nine by nine little Sudoku because ChatGPT or all the LLMs, they cannot optimize, they cannot do math, they cannot do any calculations. And the optimization problems we are talking about, that's not Sudoku nine by nine, that's Sudoku thousand by thousand or even larger. And you can imagine that you cannot solve them by hand or by Excel, you need a powerful engine. And what we are doing is with Decision AI by Quantagonia, we are combining the two best worlds. So we are taking the optimization engines, the strong ones, and the input layer, the LLMs, so that we empower business users to enter their um, constraints and rules for the optimization problems into our system. So that also fastens the life cycle of deployment of the applications. Because nowadays, if you have an optimization problem and the business users would like to make some changes to the problem, they have to go back to the bath guys or to the IT department saying, oh, for example, for fleet management, I would like to ensure that two cities are visited by the same truck on the same road. And the IT might need to add a new user interface for these business users so that they can define the two cities. It's getting back and forth, taking one day, one week, one month to get to a new deployment, and that's too slow into operations. So how does it look like with our system? So on the left side, you see the input side. You can have your data. Many times we see Excel. That's the number one planning tool in the world. But other companies already using ERP systems, other systems where they have their planning data in. And we can connect these systems to our platform. You see in the middle. You will see in a, in a second how to enter the business rules into that platform. And on the right side, for the op you can get the optimal solution as an output also viewing in some nice graphics, for example. So we are currently 
having two example use cases. You can visit our LinkedIn page and watch a little video of two, three minutes. Um, today, I would like to show you the use case of the vehicle routing problem. So imagine you are having a factory producing your products. In this example, it's based in Frankfurt. And here you see already a, an optimal route. Your customers might have constraints like time windows for the delivery. The customer could say, oh, you, cannot, you can only deliver the product between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Um, other constraints of vehicle capacities, for example, time constraints for your products if you're producing fresh goods, for example, which need to be delivered in a certain time frame. Um, and then a business user could say, for example, oh, I would like to add a constraint for whatever reason. Maybe the driver of vehicle three has to visit his uncle in Venice and Lyon and typing in, oh, vehicle three should visit Venice and Lyon in one trip. And then the, um, the, our decision AI is adding that constraint to the system, understanding what you mean, and uh, saying, OK, I've added a new constraint that vehicle three both visits Lyon and Venice in one trip. So the system easily understands it's the first time where you can add a mathematical constraint, don't see the math behind it, to a system and later on optimize it. But what happens if the constraint is a little bit ambitious? Because I remember in the past all the math guys said, ah, the input has to be really precise. If you're not doing a precise formulation, the engine in the back end will not understand it. Let's try it. Let's say um, the, uh, the big vehicle should visit the new facility in France. So what does it mean? No problem. Then the engine will ask, I need some more feedback from you. Please tell me, what's a big vehicle and where is the new facility based in France? And then always be nice to your agent. So say, excuse me, and uh, tell him, OK, vehicle, the big vehicle is uh, vehicle number two, and the new facility is based in, um, uh, is in Paris. So then the engine understands, oh, great. Then I will add a constraint ensuring that vehicle two is visiting Paris. And then, of course, you're interested in a new solution. You can say solve. Then in the back end, a powerful optimization engine will take the problem, all the new constraints, and solve that problem. And in the meantime, we could have a look behind the curtain um, how or what has our engine done. And here you see all the painful mathematical formulations. So that's more for debugging purposes. Nobody would like to deal with all these formulations. But that's how it typically looks like if you are modeling a mathematical optimization problem. Here you see all the formulas. But then you're interested in the new solution. What you see here now is one trip. The um, vehicle go, uh, down is going from Venice and Lyon in one trip. And vehicle number two is visiting Paris as well. So what you have seen here is that we can combine AI and optimization so that we can empower the business users may, uh, uh, yeah, defining their own problems. That drives me for the last almost 25 years because I have seen many great opportunities in optimization where you can do huge savings, but it was always a problem to get optimization to the business users, also to smaller enterprises, all the big companies. They are all tackling their top number two or three planning problems. But there are at least 5,000 other smaller problems in the companies which are not tackled, tackled and solved at the moment. So there's a huge market opportunity I see. We can revolutionize the global operations with decision AI, and we can democratize AI for the business users to make optimization accessible for everyone. Thank you very much for your attention. Thanks for having me.